for Bruce. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. The topic for this debate is how the government's failure to deliver is hurting everyday Australians, and it really does go to the very heart of what's wrong with this government and this Prime Minister. Everything is political. <clears throat> Truth doesn't matter anymore. You can just say stuff. Delivery doesn't matter. You just pop up and say stuff. You don't actually have to do the hard business of governing and delivery. You actually just say stuff. It's all about spin and marketing. He makes the announcements, but he never delivers. It's all about the photo up, the daggy dad, dodgy little hat. You know, I'm just an ordinary suburban guy who happens to be the prime minister and a former Liberal Party hack. Just an ordinary suburban member, dad, I am. Member, He's a fake. The member will he was withdraw. the head of Tourism Australia. The member will withdraw the uh, the word hack. Oh, well, I thought the director of the New the South Wales will Liberal Party was a hack. But sure, I'll withdraw withdrawal. the word hack. He was the head of Tourism Australia. And he was sacked from that role. He's a failed marketing guy. Now, in life, you know, words do matter. Like what you say actually does matter. But at the end of the day, it's not what you say, it's what you do. And the Prime Minister is a fake. Bushfire recovery. How many billions has he promised? Nothing's been spent. Aged care and home care. There's over 100,000 senior Australians in this country desperately waiting for a home care package. In the last two years, 28,000 of them have died waiting for the home care package. Every single budget under this government, including when he was the social services minister, then the treasurer, they pop up and say, oh, we're going to have more home care packages. It's all fixed. Well, the Royal Commission said of the 50,000 home care packages they promised, 300 had been delivered. It's all spin and marketing. It's a house of cards. You cannot believe anything that the government actually announces will happen. The biggest problem, of course, in this debate is trying to choose what you're going to talk about. There's 58 pages here we've tracked of announcements in over seven years that the government's been in office and the Prime Minister's been hanging around the Cabinet table. 58 pages of stuff they've announced in every portfolio. Aged care, communications, foreign affairs, defence, economic portfolios, industry, trade. Vet, everything they promise, you've got to wonder whether it'll, it'll ever be delivered. The National Disability Insurance Scheme, I mean, I see the minister sitting over there. The government thinks it's just a piggy bank to balance the budget. $4.6 billion more they promised, and they ripped it out of the budget to prop up the fake surplus that never happened. Remember back in the black, how'd that go? Where are those coffee cups? The fake surplus that never even happened. Now, I mean, some of this stuff, it's not life or death. They should have done it. Oh, we're going to build some dams. Oh, we're going to build some dams. How many dams has the government built? Zero. Not a single dam built in over seven years. The $100 million recycling fund. How much has been spent from that? Zero. Not a single dollar. The COVID Safe app, $70 million for an app that was going to transform contact tracing. $70 million. The app can't find anyone. It's found 14 people. That's $5 million for every person it's traced. All spin, no delivery. Then there's all the jobs programs. I mean, the most recent one, the Job Maker Scheme, or the Job Faker Scam, as it should be called. The Prime Minister told us in budget time it was going to deliver 450,000 jobs. I mean, that was a good announcement. It sounded good. Except then at Senate estimates, his officials had to admit, well, that's not actually true, is it? It's only going to deliver maybe 45,000 jobs. He says one thing, but the truth is very different. You know, he said around the budget time that there was going to be an increase from 1.3 million to 1.5 million people relying on unemployment benefits. Well, that fell to bits because they had to admit at Senate estimates by Christmas there will be 1.8 million Australians relying on unemployment benefits. He told those people, people who are losing their jobs through no fault of their own, he said that the government would be there for them, that they would get the support that they need. Except what does he announce this week? A third cut to job seeker. The supplement from $550 to $250 to $150. In my electorate, this matters. You don't just say job a lot, you actually need a jobs plan. Apprenticeship, seven years of tradie crisis. It's not caused by COVID. There's right now in this country 140,000 fewer apprentices than when the government came to office. Their latest plan for 300,000 more doesn't even cover up for the $3 billion cuts to TAFE. 
Does anyone seriously believe that the government's going to deliver a vaccine by March? I mean, the government's deal only covers one in five Australians. Doesn't even cover the healthcare workers and the vulnerable the people. It's a scam, and the prime minister's expired. a fake.